Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick video to go through some of the frequently asked questions I've had about this WOW TV box. Now this is a digital TV box, if you haven't seen my full review you can find a link in the video description down below and I recommend you watch that first. But basically it's very similar to the TV Plus box in the fact that it acts as a digital TV receiver, connect an antenna, watch TV, pretty simple. Um, the differences between the WOW box and the TV Plus, uh, there's a few of them. Firstly the WOW box includes HDMI output, which is something you won't find on the newer TV Plus boxes, so you do have HDMI out. You've also got the traditional output for older style TVs, but I think a lot of people now are going to be using HDMI, so that's a nice benefit. And next, it's got a USB port, so you can connect a thumb drive or a hard drive, and then you can play back movies and TV shows, so that's a really nice feature. Now, the TV Plus also has a USB port, but this is only for diagnostics by their engineers. You can't plug in a thumb drive or a hard drive and watch back content. Now if you look at these two boxes you can see one is labeled Gen 4 which is the latest generation and the other one is marked Gen 3 limited edition because the Gen 3 actually had HDMI output but very very few of these were made and sold so they're very very hard to get hold of but they did have a HDMI port but you see on the latest um, version Gen 4 there's no HDMI output which kind of sucks but there is still a big selling point to the TV Plus from ABS CBN it has the exclusive channels which you cannot watch on the wow box so anyway I'm not really doing like a full comparison because I've done that before um, I'm just giving you a very quick overview before I go through the FAQ for this wow box and if you're wondering what this is this is a phone from CDR King and this is analog TV and if I show you the image here and then I'll point out at what's currently being output from this wow box. And you can see there's really no comparison. Look at that image and then look at that image. Now, of course, you might say, well, you're watching it on a tiny little screen. That's true, but you've still got the fuzziness that you get from analog TV versus how clear it is in digital TV. So one question I hear all the time is, can we connect this to a computer monitor? And the answer is yes, if it's by HDMI. Let me show you. So what you're looking at right now is a computer monitor. This is a Samsung monitor. It's got VGA input and HDMI input. So yes, you can use it on the big screen. But I know what you're thinking, well, how about audio? Because if your monitor doesn't have built-in speakers, how are we going to get the audio? Well, let me show you. The good thing is that even if you're using the HDMI output, the other outputs continue to work as well. So we can connect the supplied cable, the red and white audio jacks. And then all we have to do is plug the other end into a speaker. For instance, I've got this Bluetooth speaker here, which also has a 3.5 mil jack input. Now, what you actually need is a little adapter that converts these two into a 3.5 mil jack. And you can buy those from any hardware shop. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those to hand, so I'm just gonna DIY a very quick solution just to show you it works. So I'll plug a 3.5 mil cable into my speaker here. And on the other end of the cable, I've connected these crocodile clips, which I'll then clip onto these audio cables. This is only like a temporary thing to show you that it does work. So you can hear right now this static, but if I connect this, we now have the audio from our show. We have the brain buster. Right now, let's move on to our fifth question. Stars? So yes, you can connect this to a PC monitor via HDMI and you can take the audio out and put it into any standard speaker. Now another question I've been asked is, how about older monitors that only have VGA? Can you use the included cable and then buy one of these adapters that convert it to VGA? And the question is no. <laughs> I tried it out, I connected it like this, hooked it up to two different monitors and neither of them detected any image. So you can connect it to a HDMI capable monitor, which is pretty obvious really, but you can do that. But no, you can't use one of these little adapters to convert it to VGA output. Now the next questions are about playing back content from a USB drive. So let's go ahead and load up our multimedia area. So one question that's often asked is, can it play MKV files? So let's go ahead with this episode of Homeland. And there you go, you can see it's playing and I can forward through this quickly. And as you can see, it has no problem playing Homeland. If we go full screen, works absolutely fine. So yes, it can do MKVs, but saying that there are some MKV files where it won't work. Now, I guess the point is that whether it's MP4 or MKV or whatever, they're only containers. It's the codec inside that matters. So if we try and open this one, you'll see that it initializes and then it says unsupported file. 
So most files I've thrown at this, it worked absolutely no problems, but there is the occasional file where it doesn't work. Now this is loaded up something else there, usual suspects, that's also a MKV. Now another question is, can it do subtitle files? So in this folder, I put an MP4 and I also put a .srt. Now you can't see the subtitle file because it's only showing video files, but if we try and open this, and I'll go full screen and then I'll jump ahead, and there you go. You can see that yes, it does support subtitle files. Although what I found is that the subtitle file name has to be the same as the movie name, otherwise it sometimes doesn't find it. So yes, it does support subtitles. And one more question was, can it handle 1080 files? And again, if we try and open this sample, you'll see that yes, it can handle it. So this is a 1080 video. Uh, how big is it? Let me see, 1.5 gig. So it's a pretty big file. Let's open full screen and then jump ahead. So there you go. You can see it's playing the video without any problem. So yes, it can handle 1080 files. Now another question is, when you record content from live TV, can you then watch it back on your computer later or you know upload it somewhere? So let's try now. So you can see at the top left we've got a timer showing that we're recording live TV. So this is recording right now to the USB thumb drive that I plugged into the box. So we'll go for about 30 seconds, maybe 60 seconds of content, then we'll try and play it back on the computer. So I've got the thumb drive connected to the computer. Currently open the file that we recorded in VLC. You can see that the file name is GMA and then it's got the date and time. So let's try play it. And you can see it's playing back absolutely fine. So yes, when you record on the box itself, you can remove the USB drive or the hard drive, connect it to your computer and then watch it back there, edit it or whatever you want to do with it. So that was just a quick update video to answer some of the commonly asked questions about this WOW TV box, this digital TV box. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments section down below. Now this is not the same box I looked at before, it's the same model, it's just a different one because of course I sent that away as a giveaway. This one I currently have because I want to test it with the Baron antenna, the large outside or outdoors antenna, and that's actually what I've got connected right now. So you will see another video about that coming up soon. I'm going to test the antenna with both the WOW box and also with one of these TV Plus boxes. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.